Dalton got thrown in a river today. What's up, everybody? It's Grim, and uh, things just went completely off the rails. I was just hanging out with James Ellsworth. Literally just now, I just got back, and Ellsworth's going home, and uh, we threw Dalton in a river. And, and, and we're going to show you that in the next video, so you better subscribe, tap the bell, and turn on the notifiers. This is the buildup. This is the backstory. You want to know why Dalton got thrown in the river? You better watch this ride along with James Ellsworth. What's up, everybody? It's Grim with the OG Bird Pops in the back. And WWE legend James Ellsworth. It's the ride along. Mm, I feel like a real legend right now. Yeah, well, I feel like a real legend. First, you had Ride Along on WWE Network with Daniel Bryan. Mm -hmm. And now me. Yeah, now I'm in a car with you. <laughs> oh, it's an upgrade for me and a downgrade for you. Yeah. <laughs> we are off to find Dalton because Dalton owes him money. Of course he does. Because <laughs> who doesn't he owe money to? I'm going to try not to crash. Yeah, hold that. Yeah, okay. Please don't crash. This. Please don't crash. I mean, please do. I mean, this is what please do. Where my, where my career is going. I'm going to go with you. Go, <laughs> going to hunt Dalton. Going to hunt Dalton. The Dolph. The Dolph. The Dolph right. down for money. Yeah. Welcome to uh, your current modern professional wrestling career, James Ellsworth, where we have to go hunt down Dalton. Well, see, like, the thing about from, Dalton is he owes everyone money, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. and he's never done this to me where he owes me money. I've done a couple of shows for him. He's always paid me, but I always ask for a deposit first because okay. he screws so many people over, you right. know, and I, I have a soft spot in my heart for Dalton. I first <laughs> met him at your show and <laughs> seemed like a nice kid and, you know, I'm like... And I'm not playing around before I was in WWE. I worked with people with special needs. I did. I'm not, like, joking around. Like, I did. I did that for a living. So, Dalton's obviously on the spectrum, and I'm yes. not trying to be funny. He just, no, he's, he's a very special guy. Yeah, and, like, so I have a soft spot in my heart for him, and me he's too. always been nice and respectful to me. Always pay me, but always got a deposit. So, there was a certain show he had, you know, and I said, all right, just send me my $250 deposit, because that's what I, he always sent me for a deposit. Right. Um, don't advertise me until you do. So... He just went ahead and advertised me without sending the deposit. I'm like, don't, you didn't send a deposit. Oh, you know, don't worry, I'll send it, I'll send it. Two days before the show, no deposit. Day before the show, no deposit. I said, I'm not coming. I said, you still owe me this deposit because you advertised me. Right. But I'm not coming because you never <laughs> sent me the deposit. So you don't have to pay me the other money you owe me because I'm not coming. Right, the rest of the, for, the for, yeah, fee. Yeah, the rest of the fee because I'm not coming. But you... Oh, no, please come. I'll have it all for you. I'm like, how do you have... How are you going to have it all if you don't have half now? Or, or you know, or the deposit now. Like, you, right. you don't have, uh, you know, some of it now. So, like, it's, that's the thing about Dalton. Like, he shouldn't be running shows. I, I get he loves wrestling, as we all do, and he wants to be a part of it. I understand that. And, you know, I get people pick on him and yell at him, and, 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 and rightfully so a lot, because he does owe a lot of people money. But now, you know, this is what happens. Now we have to go <laughs> find him and just teach him a lesson right like unless he has the money because that's what he needs he shouldn't be running shows you shouldn't run shows unless you have the money to run the show before one ticket is sold right like or you shouldn't do it and obviously he doesn't get that so he needs to be taught a lesson and this is me actually caring about him to teach him this lesson so maybe <laughs> he'll learn his lesson and won't do this to other people ever again uh see the, the problem with dalton in my opinion is he'll never learn he'll never get better he just like he thinks Real life is kayfabe, mm, yeah. And, and 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 like he just thinks that this is the next storyline, and and you know he's gonna have a little feud with Ellsworth, and then Ellsworth's gonna super kick him, and and that's gonna be the end of the feud, and then he'll just do it to somebody else, and he has no remorse, he gives zero fucks, he thinks it's funny, right? Like he thinks it's real, like what we're doing, right. like this is a, like right. it's real in a sense of he really owes me money, right? But this is not like a story. It's line. not a storyline for wrestling. That an angle that we drew up, and there's going to be a payoff to it. The payoff for this is going to be, I, I brought my my protege with me here, <laughs> and, and like I'm going to have him kind of scare him. You know, to be like yeah. just like yeah. <laughs> I don't. I, I'm not going to like try to hurt Dalton or whatever. But I'm. Gonna, I mean, I might. Well, maybe, but I don't, I don't mind. know the guy. I don't want to hurt him or anything, <laughs> but I want to make sure he never forgets this experience. Right. <laughs> He's a scary looking dude. It's, yeah. He's going to scare the shit out of Dalton. It's going to be funny. Well, you, That's all. You yeah. know, and and like you said, that you like you have like a love for Dalton. I have a love for Dalton. You know, he started uh, as on my show. He was a fan of Grimm's Toy Show. He came to my first indie appearance back after 12 years when I started doing the Grimm stuff. And, and he was just a fan around town. And, and then he begged to be part of my show for like a year and a half. And we finally allowed him on. 
and then he turned into this. Right. It's and it was like this was unexpected. But but like I know he has such a passion for wrestling, and again he is a very special person. So it's like it's hard to stay mad at him. You know, like I don't know. I just he's like that little annoying brother that punched you in the face and took your ice cream last night, but he's your little brother. I remember yeah. first meeting him at your show, and it was like, you know, the Eminem video stand. Like, it <laughs> yes. was like that. He came, oh, man, James, I, I love you. I loved all your work. I, I dyed my hair just like you, which he did. If you go back and find a picture, I'm sure you'll so, show it on this video. Like, he had my same haircut, dyed, dyed his hair like me. And all. He really did. And I was like, oh, that's that's cute. Whatever, you know, it's this it's just a harmless kid. Yeah. But look at all the harm he's caused. He's had people chase him. He's had people threaten him. And, you know, I don't condone any of that. Like, I, I think people need to understand what he is and just not deal with him. Right. But, like, make it Definitely fun. not chase him down and throw him off a bridge. No. But, but, like, you know, to make it fun of him and all that, you're just, you know, being a bully, basically. And that's what people like to do now. But, 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 yeah. but, t- to be fair, Dalton's also a bully. He runs this, currently, he's running this page called Garbage of Wrestling. Is he? That's his thing. I don't know what it is. I, yeah, I don't it's, pay attention to bullshit. It, it's just, he made a Facebook, and he just makes posts trashing on people that he doesn't like. Like Kevin Nasta, for example. I don't know who that is. Yeah, yeah. He's just a promoter around town, okay. whatever. But cool. Yeah, Dalton just, like, he posts some of the people from my show that, the ones that, like, hate him, but they're on my show, so that's why he's not there. You know what I mean? That kind of stuff. But really, he should be posted himself, probably. Yeah, right, right. He should be the friggin' poster boy for Garbage but, Press. See, that, that's kind of stuff. That, I don't condone that stuff. Right, it's no, just, and, and he says awful things, like, awful things about people. Like, wrestling's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be a good time. Everybody's in everybody's personal business and just, you know, stooge. It, it's stupid. And, like, yeah, Dalton, again, I, I'm not trying to justify it by saying he's unique. And, and spe- like, I don't condone the way he acts either <laughs> at all. I want to put that out there. Right. And, and that's what today's about, kind of, like, scaring them straight. You ever see yes. the show, show uh, Scared Straight? I love that. Like, that, this is what this kind of is today. Like, maybe if... We go out of here and I get my boy to scare the hell out of him. Maybe he won't do this to anyone. Or maybe he'll just continue to do it. I, I tried my best. He'll, I, he'll just think that this is another storyline. Especially if it's on the YouTube channel. You know, to him, oh, it's just a storyline. It's just something that happened. Yeah. And, and, you know, I, I took my L. He takes his L's because he really does. He takes his L's and he's like, okay, so... Uh, maybe I, I had a mess of a show and maybe there was a couple of hiccups but this went good and that went good and he like he just grabs onto whatever was positive and then he talked about how he's going to learn from it and could continue on it's like I almost respect it well that's what I do respect about the son of a bitch keeps pulling off having shows that's what I'm saying like Coming he out, will like... not be deterred so like I don't think this is going to stop him at all maybe not like, this will just be like, okay, I less learned a lesson. Don't screw around with James Ellsworth's money. Right. Like, and I, he won't do that anymore. I just hope, I wish he wouldn't screw around with any of the right. boys' money. Right, he'll like, screw around somebody. He'll screw around with the I, like, I, You know, me, I'm, I'm fine. And, like, he, he always says that, oh, well, you're well off because you saved your money. Yeah, that's not the point. Like, I'm still working. I'm still, yeah, you know, I have, gonna, I, right, I have daughters. Me. Like, I'm, you know, I look at it as their money, not my money. It's theirs. So I try to make sure they're always taken care of. And you, you know, never, can never have enough money. Yeah. And, and it's... It's just it should be common sense not to run a wrestling show unless you already have the money to put on the show. And I, I get common sense and Dalton do you, might not go together. What do you think and this is deep in the video, but mm-hmm. this is serious now. What do you think about Dalton working money marks to run shows? Because like like for example, that guy Gypsy right. in the trench coat. Like, I'm like, what, Dalton, why do you have this guy around? Oh, well, he pays $500, and then he sells, like, 15 tickets. Yeah. So, you know, the guy brought in $750 for Dalton to pay other people with. And it's like, like, okay, if that guy's willing to pay that, sure. But then you had three other people who promised you $500, and they didn't even pull up with the money. And you still let them be part of the show and be part of everything, and they didn't pay. And then you can't cover your, your bills. You know what I think about all that is... It's a bad bad business model. Right? It, well, it's just bad business, and that's the problem with the wrestling business right now. So none of these guys you're talking about, <clears throat> including Dalton, probably, most likely, could not make it through a, 
an actual wrestling school. Right. To become an actual or professional. professional. Yeah, yeah. If they went to create a pro, they would die. Like, yeah, create a pro, or if they went Monster to, like, Factory. Monster Factory or Devon's Dudley School or something, you know, like a real Booker T school, like a real they place with never real survive. professionals, like, they would never be able to. So, what they do is they pay their way into the business, like, the people like Dalton run shows, right. and hey, if you sell me 15 tickets and you give me this money to pay for names, I'll put you on the show and you can live out your wrestling dream not doing it the right way. Right, not having to go to wrestling school, not having to become a pro wrestler. All you have to do is give Dalton $500 and and he'll let you be in a match against some other kid who gave him $500 to be on the wrestling show. And unfortunately, and honestly, Dalton's not the only one in the, in the world that does this. There's places all over the country like that oh. do this. Oh, like, yeah. And when not, I broke into the business, that's how my promoter did it. It's freaking awful, man. Like, everyone should have to go to an actual wrestling school and have months, years of training before they ever get to wrestle on a show. Right. And do it the right way. Like, I was very fortunate to get trained by Axel Rodden, who was an ECW original, traveled the world, was, you know, had a good mind about the business. Like, I, I feel like that's what every, like, the creative <laughs> pro school you brought up, Pat Buck. Brian Myers, these guys have traveled the world. They've worked for the big companies. And their students like, tell the tale of the training. Yes. Their students are all champions on the, the second biggest right. company in the world. But it, it, you don't know, like, but there's so many, like, it's just so easy to get into the business. Like, especially this way where yeah. you're not, you don't, you're not trained and you're just paying to be on shows. It's sad. It should be illegal. You should have to get a certification to be a pro wrestler. <laughs> And it's not that way, unfortunately. And Dalton's taking advantage of that. Right. Um, there's no commission in New Jersey. Right. So basically, we, anybody can. Put, it's like putting on a play. You could set up a ring anywhere right. and right. have a wrestling show. And you know, Dalton, like I said, I I've spot my heart for him. He's you know was so respectful to me when I first met him. Always. And like for the majority, like I've probably wrestled for him four times at this point. So all four times I wrestled for him. He did pay me the money. You. Yes. There was this one time where he didn't. Like, and my rule is don't advertise me until you send me the deposit. He never sent a deposit, like I said, and he advertised me anyway, so people thought I was going to be there. And, and that was the show where, like, you had it on video where everyone's chasing him after the show because he didn't pay anybody. Right. Or most, at least, what, 90% of the uh, dressing room, he didn't pay. Right. So, uh, it's... It's just a crock of shit, man. He shouldn't be doing shows anymore. Then they just don't do them. Yeah. Just, just leave it alone. Dalton thought he was gonna wrestle me today, huh? <laughs> yeah, he really did. I uh, was it going? <laughs> I actually, I need to shut this down now so we can get his address. Oh boy. <laughs> right along with Ellsworth. How fun! Don't, don't let people know where he lives. What do you mean you don't have your wallet? wallet? Of course not. It's just not. Oh God damn it! <laughs> I have nothing in my hand. Get him! Oh! I can't walk! Surprise me with that kid anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what a great ending to the video. <laughs>